sing the same old song. I know every crack in these dirty sidewalks of Broadway. Hey, everybody. I've been walking and trading this market for so long. Pro Trader Mike and the Mojo team. What's happening today, everybody? Nice to see you. Woo, what a market, huh? Great. Journaling, learning new strategies. Look at the grass is not greener on the other side. Listen to Pro Trader. Look at his tattoo. Dude, he's got a Mojo tattoo, bruh. He looks like Michael Phelps. He could do the suction cups with the Mojo all over him. He's an athletic Pro Trader, right? You see Michael Phelps with all those circles all over him? He does cupping. You ever see the cupping now? That's what he does, cupping. You seen that? You don't know what that is? Yes, no, Michael Phelps. Yes, crazy, right? Yeah, he takes glasses like suction and sucks his skin up. And it makes big black and blues on him. It's crazy, man, cupping. Yeah, we cut the market today. Let me show you what we did with the market today. So right now with the stock market, we have UVXY at 1985 and have a very happy group of traders in the room that were down big on the UVXY, but the Moj came in uh, up buying power in their panic zone and uh, saved, the, saved the brilliance of the day on the UV and made everyone profitable. So that's what we did in the mojo room. Let me show you the room and the guys. Uh, don't take it from me, they'll tell you themselves. Here you go. Who got saved in UVXY and turned a devastating loss into a profit? With the mentoring, the coaching, and the help from moi. Alan, Fern, Thorn, Pro Trader Ant, Next Gen, Clear Instruction, Peacock saved his ass. Yes, that's the difference. As the stock moves to 20, saved by the Moj. Okay, I did a, a blog article last night. Really great. I mean, I've gotten some really nice feedback. Thank you so much on the blog. Let me show you. So go to mojodaytrading.com and you can day trade for a living, absolutely. I'll provide you the tools and the education. And for the discounts for the students in the military, when you get your code, send me an email and I'll send you a link. And then you have right here, I put back up the sign-in because the site got redesigned over the weekend and the sign-in for the room got removed. But everybody knows the link anyway from when you join. I have right here, let me show you. Let me find it, hold on a second. My screen's blinking on the other side. Trades are more important, hold on a second. We're in this little APHB right now. So that's why my screen, I think the stock's gonna go up again. So this is the Mojo site right here. Let me show you the blog right here. Show you the blog. Need a good mentor? how to find one right here. And my power of journaling today, today has been amazing. Trying to battle the stock market, figure out how to become a winning trader can be daunting, especially if you're trying to go out of the loan, no matter how independent you are, you'll get uh, where you want faster with a little help. Uh, and that help can come in the form of a mentor. Most successful trader entrepreneurs will tell you they had a mentor in their career de development. The majority of the trader entrepreneurs fail 
and f the small few really succeed in day trading, the odds are stacked worse in your favor as nine out of 10 fail. So how is someone supposed to win if they don't take the initiative to ask for mentorship? Very few trader entrepreneurs tend to seek out mentors. And that's what you are. If you're a day trader, you're an entrepreneur, trader entrepreneur. You need to seek out a mentor when you start trading the market. The barrier of entry is simple. All you need is a heartbeat. Hey, my heart's beating today. I got a bank account and boom, I'm a professional trader. Hey, watch me go. I'm going to make a million dollars trading the stock market. That's what every trader entrepreneur says. But what really happens is they lose it fast. So trader entrepreneurs not seeking help is a big miss because mentors are managers, leaders, and successful traders in the market who know how to succeed. All types of traders from beginners to more advanced can benefit from the insights of a trusted source. Mentors can be powerful weapons, providing guidance and wisdom and connections to secrets that take a lifetime to gain, like the bump trade I just got you out of. Okay, What a mentor does, it works, folks. Okay, What a good quality mentor has, according to Doug White, mentors are authentic, empathetic, creative, and honest. You need someone who's caring and invested in your professional growth, but also someone who will speak the truth to you. Who do I have phone calls scheduled with today? Which traders am I on the phone with today? Who's getting, who's expecting the phone call today? I got two on the list outside the room, one in the room. Bob Z, you got it, buddy. Absolutely. We'll speak this afternoon for sure. Okay. Absolutely. I got to, I have to get to know Bob Z. I have to get, a well-chosen mentor can provide things having the same business areas. You, I understand everything, how you find one. Okay. Mojo university classes are limited to 20 new traders. Okay. 30 new traders. That's it because most of them repeat the course four times whoop, before grasping the knowledge and mastering the techniques. So 20 new and 20 returning is a full class. It's imperative. I spend the time each day with every student as the new traders are different in a cycle of knowledge than the new ones returning for the second, third, and fourth time. My techniques have been mastered and very teachable. To date, over 150 pro traders have graduated status and completed the Mojo course. You too can get some Mojo and take your trading to a new level. This was an anonymous poll well, yes. that was taken. It says Mojo University day trading portion is over. Have you learned what you paid for and not what you paid for? And it is anonymous. I have no idea from the 30 people taking it what they would put. They got what they paid for. They didn't get what they paid for. It's worth 10 times what they paid. And it's kind of priceless if you ask me. There you go. 86%. Four people picked that. You could have easily have put that. I would have not known who you were or what you were doing, but you paid top dollar, uh, not top dollar, but enough dollar to be in the class uh, and do that. Thank you. So check out my blog. The poll was taken there. Out of the 30 students, that was their class. And the next class is right here. Become a pro trader, the three courses. The next class is in 14 days, right here. Here's the full course schedule right here. You could sign up for the beginning day trading course right here and get yourself started, 99. You can get the silver package of Mojo U, which is the day trading course for 2000, the day trading challenge for 200 and the room for 60 days for 200 and the level two video you get for free bi-weekly reviews and private coaching for 1500 payment plans are available and the gold package which includes the swing class the options class and the day trading and all the others for 2500 packages are available so those people did input it's priceless and they would pay 10 times that amount and here's all the information on the course so please check that out and let's see right now uh, if UVXY is near the, uh, the, the mark for us, uh, it's still at 82. Hasn't yet attracted itself in the 90 range where it can pick up some speed and they get some liquidity at the $20 mark. 
Uh, just give it a little patience and time. In the meantime, we have a new high set on APHB in the Mojo Day Trade Room. APHB we bought right here at 210. APHB, new HOD right now at 2 uh, 16, 17, and it, it looks like it may go higher. So do a little sell, sell half, half. Uh, we also have been trading uh, UV, beautiful. We're in HDSN, Hudson Technologies, right here. Let me put that up, HDSN, right here. You see the stock has already gone to $5.04. Here's the daily chart on the stock. Looks like it may make a move and test some highs. Why? Because volume is coming in for the first time. We're catching a little wave. The boat has left uh, the dock with a V-band break on volume. That's just starting another move higher into the next realm. Why? Because the daily chart tells me that yesterday it traded 373,000. The day before it traded 340. We caught it when it traded 200, and now it's traded 1.2 million. Moj is on the ball. So now we have this stock, NET, at 226, approaching a new high in the Mojo Day Trade Room. Yeah. Nice. Yes, 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 yes. So this stock, let me see what the deal with this one is. This one was. We're going to get a small piece of it just in case it flies because a lot of these small ones that only trade 129000 before you know it, they'll be trading a million and all of a sudden it's gone. Too late. So there you go on that one. That's that little one. We traded this stock this morning, ENDP. We bought the stock right here at the open. What kind of didn't skew my strategy, but kept me backed off on the stock was this red bar. The first five minutes of the trading was not good and the stock came down. So I was hesitant on really getting into a position, but we did do a trade as it came through here on a Heinz $20 move and the stock went up huge and we sold it right here into this bar. And I sold it and made over 50 cent on it. And here is, that's the move on that one. So this one was done and then the stock went kaboom and it kind of did that. So let's move to the other one, VRX. It did the same thing. So VRX, the first one right here, uh, it opened up, whoop, and it went up huge. Let me go to the one minute. So what do you mean by huge? This is huge. So we buy the first bar right here at 930 and we're long to go through $24. And the stock goes up here and it goes boom to 24.60 in a 50 cent spurge and we sold it. I should have held some, it dipped, we looked good, but then all of a sudden that thing took off and it went to 26.99. So we captured 50 cents on it and it went from 24.50 to 25, it went, no, it didn't went more. It went to 27, look. Well, it came down a bunch, see? Let's go to the five minute. So here's the come down, went all the way down, but then it went all the way back up to $27. So the move was from 24 to 27. It was a three pointer. You're like, dude, you only got 50 cents. No, I didn't, let me show you. So here's the room. Today, I did it right here a couple minutes ago. Uh, right here. VRX is the buy. We did it at 25.77. It was 25.44. It flew through 25.77. Um, Heinz trades like VRX and Smith and Wesson uh, must sell at the number now to get some liquidity. Patience. Uh, if you have that gut feeling, it's just a matter of time for it to transpire due to pattern behaviors. It happens in stocks and it happens with people. 
uh, just like UVXY is doing right back to 90, like I told you, from 50. Just like people who develop patterns of behavior similar to other people. If you have a bad person and the person's been bad in your life and a new person comes along and displays the characteristics that the other persons have displayed, it's just a matter of time before the person's true colors come out like the other person did. And that's totally happened. And same thing on the other side, the good people. You have a good person of pattern behavior, uh, which fits a lot of other traders in my room that don't do what that person had done, which fits the pattern of good, uh, easily recognizable. So these patterns of behavior in people are the same patterns of behavior that happen in stocks. For an example, when everybody was about nervous, see, I don't get nervous. But I do get the woolies. And when I get the spider senses and the woolies, okay, I've written it down. Eight out of 10 times, if I panic sell in the woolies, it goes back up. So I was bumping getting into UVXY. And I said to all the demo traders, you know what? What are you doing? You're sitting there with you're down a thousand dollars. You're about to get auto closed. You got a thousand shares. You're sitting there stumped. You know what I would do? I would get on the horn and I would say, yo, you got my money in there. I got three grand. I'm down a thousand. Let's do this. Max out my, give me more buying power, double my shares, remove my auto close, put me down to a hundred bucks. I already blew up my account. If this trade goes down, I'm blowing up anyway. If it goes back up, I'm saved and I may make money. What do you want to do? You want to gamble or you want to get out? And that's what we did. The grass is greener in other pastures. Okay. So let me show you what we did because I have someone that's ungrateful. Block. We all block them. Okay. Bump. We're doing a bump. Here's the people that are bumping. Who's bumping? Let me go to the bumps. Here we go. Um, bump, 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 bump right here. Demo nine, you got it. Could you please demo? I said, dude, what's the answer? You're sitting there stunned. You're sitting there stunned. There were 12 hands dealt. Okay, if demo traders bought the 1003 UVXY, that was your fold. You should have not been at the table. You would already made your money for the day. So everyone made their money in the first half hour. Then at 10.03, I called a risky trade that they all did. Before that, there were 12 trades dealt. If you played all 12, you must be a pro trader because you, don't, you must know how to bluff and fold and not be a calling station. What a calling station is in poker is every time the hand's dealt, the person calls no matter what. He plays every hand. You're going to wind up losing. Okay, So the people are sitting there stunned on a loss. They don't know what to do. So the answer is bump me up, exactly, okay? Let's bump, done demo 47, done 51, done 12, done seven, done. I bumped you all up, tripled your buying power, doubled your shares, and what happened? UVXY rebounded, you all made money. Yeah, boy, is that what happened? Okay, so this guy says right here, Pro Trader Delcan, we should have short UV at 30 because it's at 20 now. I'm like, dude, that's a Monday morning quarterback. You know when the quarterback's like, yeah, hey, yeah, I would have bet on that game after the game's over? Yeah, easy to set. In trading, I had to call it a trader back. So Pro to Delcan, you did a Monday morning trader back, bro. You know that? It won't happen. No, no. No. Okay. So out of the 10 points that that stock dropped, I got four of them as a loss. Two of them I had with a covered call. So I'm down two and I've already made trading back more than that. Okay. So trading right now, let me just find these answers right here. 
who had that's the cupping mojo saved my ass saved saved best caddy best mentor the patience better to trade with the team okay pinto you're still waiting on your don't you don't have to wait i'm taking care of business today someone sold three quarters awesome great job everyone let's take a look at what we got hudson's at five net is fine endp we're out of i'm removing smith and weston i'm out of i didn't lose any money on that it came right back up smith and weston i'm just going to note it right here swhc broke even no problem uh, we had that one uh, taser right here same thing uh, delete came right back up lost nothing made money on that okay uh, we'll remove the taser I, just for today i have to put it above nintendo new row new row new row it's three of them we traded today. We traded Smith and Wesson, Taser, and Ruger. Ruger was the first one on the initial run right up here through 67, which we bought Smith and Wesson with as well up here, and then the dip, and then the break even. I don't care if it goes higher. You can hold 100 shares if you want, 200 shares. Hold a quarter of it. Uh, then we've traded... Uh, Nintendo, which we have in the swing, rebounded up beautifully up 7.5%, have already sold half and holding half. Looks like it's going to go through 28 right now. So if you'd like to do a Heinz 28 trade play, go right ahead. It will tick up all day like it's, like it's done uh, to us in the past. WPRT, we traded here from the open at $1.59 to $1.90. Went up very nicely. Removing that. VRX is at 26.78 now, right back up. Just mojo you, just for informational purposes, watch these reds, you ready? The first one is right here at 23.61. Oh, this is pre-market. So the first one right here is 24.75. The next one is 82. The next one is 88. The next one is 27. The next one is 20. The next one is 40. Uh, is this one 4651? So that's for informational purposes for the next class and to use this video for pro traders that have taken Mojo University. Okay. So great job with that. Uh, maybe by the time we're done with the video, this UV will be at the $20 like a magnet. And that's what we have there. ZLTQ was a stock I passed on this morning. Made a beautiful move from 34 to 39. Five points removed. And that's it, folks. So we had a great day. Let me just look at some of the swings. So I have a lot of people watching on the swing side. We have fuel systems called Rocket Fuel taking off like a little rocket right now. Rocket fuel, we're in this one. Was sent out yesterday, great job. We're in Hudson right now, HDSN, new pick. Well, we're waiting for this one, Java. This one's already made a move for us yesterday. FPP already made a move to a dollar for us yesterday from 80 cents, great new pick. Uh, we have ONTX holding waiting on earnings and that's pretty much it we have rocks at 85 cents holding up at 90 we have sun edison at 12 and a half cents up five percent on sun edison finally making its move and it did a gap we own sun edison right here so great job on sun edison and that's uh, what we own there i would be looking to buy mgna back on a dip and that's what we got there NETEs, my p and jumping right now on NETE. NETEs making a move, new high for us on NETE.
in the mojo room. 233. Nice job. XIV's dropping, UV's popping. I love that. XIV's dropping, UV's popping. That's a good song. XIV's dropping, UV's popping. Yo, yo. Maybe. Yo, yo. Yes. XIV's popping, UV's dropping. I'm nothing but a. Hustle, baby. And nice guys get washed away like the snow and the rain. Yeah, boy. Like the snow and the rain. The, the nice guys get washed away. Ooh, look at your PLs on. Dude, what happened to your thousand? Hold on, your thousands of shares. There you go. You got some. 2,000 left. Good. You got some. Here we go to 90, mamas and papas. Mamas and papas the same. There's been a load of compromise. A load of everything compromised. So that's what we got. TVIX, I'm five cents away. UV unprofitable. Here's the 90, folks. We're going to rip it through and make a lot of money on UV. Here we go, everybody. Just for everyone, you're going to see a huge move coming on UV right through the top of this thing. It's happening right now. I'm all in. Selling everything I have and putting it into this move because this move will make me more than everything that I have. So everything that I have, I'm selling and putting into this. It's nineteen ninety now. I'm all in. So now I take my chips. Three thousand dollars in chips I'm gonna make on this trade. Three grand. See? Three thousand dollars. Okay. Actually I'm gonna make twenty five hundred. So let me take the five hundred chip and two one thousand like this. And I'm going to take it like this. I'm going to spin it around, put it right back in just like that. So by the time I take it, spin it around, hold on, got to do it slow and patience. Got to make up for the drop with three, two good ones. One, two, made up for the drop. Now I do three and it's through 20 bucks. Watch. One. Two, come on, keep it going, come on, come on, come on, keep it going, shit, no, can't get, two, did two, so I get a restart, got to do three, and then it goes through 20. One, two, three, boom, now watch. 92. See? 22,000 share block just goes off. They're all watching me. All the big hedge funds. They put, we all play the game. Mojo's all in. 93. 94. Hold your horses. Here we go. Wow. Look how much money you're up in the demos. Wow. Look in the real accounts. Wow. You guys are up big, honeys. Hold it. It's going through Heinz. And when it goes through, it's going to fly. It's going to go up 30. Guys, hold it. You're going to make a lot of money. This is your trade. Or otherwise, you would have sold it at 1955. Remember? Told you. You can't do that. You can't do that. Want to do a chip twirl? Ready? Watch. So I take this chip. I twirl it over the top. Watch. One. 95 chip twirl chip twirl chip twirl
tutorial. Oh, fell back down. It was just 95. Chip tutorial. See that? Done. So this trade's going to produce $2,500. Patience. Or it wouldn't be, if it wasn't going through 20, it wouldn't be at 92. And jumping to 95 now. And then 97. Right? The people that lost today? Sorry. Shouldn't have. People that won? Yeah, baby. Hold your horses because, hold your horses because, hold your horses because, dude, the grass ain't greener on the other side. Okay? Nothing's better than the mojo room. Don't come up with an excuse and tell me you lost the link so you couldn't sign in and you haven't been in the room. So you want a what? A refund? What? You want a what? For the last time, no. What? No. No. What? I'm so sorry. You want a what? Sorry. Exactly. Listen, if you're not in the mojo room, you think you can ring the register with a penny stock guy? Go right ahead. Daily goal, Mojo. Let's show them what we made today. It's now August 9th, and it's 11.30. We traded the pants off UVXY, VRX like a machine. Show me what you've made in VRX, guys, because I was looking for that. Out of the three points, I was looking for it five times. How many points did you scalp out of the total of three possible in VRX today? Soon selling Indian assets for 1.3 billion. Nice. 11th there, we traded UVXY, VRX, uh, TVIX. We traded HIIQ. We traded uh, the other one, SP SPEX, this morning. I remember that little one we traded. That was like one of the first ones. SPEX right here from Green Giant from 175 to 194. I did really good in that one. It's 11.30. How'd everyone do today? Let's take a look at soon. Still under there. Here's 96 on UV. 96, 97. Yeah. Well, yeah. Good job, Mojo. That's the way I keep you in and make you money because I'm a mentor. I know pattern behavior of stocks and situations. Everything. You know how I do that? No pros answer. Thorn, you got a dollar forty-two out of the three points. Nice. Do you know how I am able to foresee the future? What the you know, the traders? Only the traders. No pros answer. How am I able to foresee the future and know exactly what's going to happen with the stocks? Just like I do in poker. How? How do I do it? Anybody? How, how, how? Give me some guesses. Regular traders, not pros. How do I know it's going through 20? How do I know it went up? How do I know all that? How do, how do, how do I do it? There it is, 2001. How do I know it's doing that? How? 2003, 2004. How do I know it's going to do that? I don't want any pro traders to answer. I already said that three times. Four, I think I said it four times. I think I said that four times. I, I think I did four. Or well, maybe it was five times. Five times. I watched the Dow. Incorrect. Good guess, though. Good guess. Any other? Any other? Any others? The level two. Good guess. Good guess. I like it. Any others? What else? How old do I know? It's twenty oh eight. You guys are up so much money. The guy with 3,000 shares sell 2,100 right now. The guy with 13, no, sell fifth half of it. The guy with 1,300 sell 300. The guy with five sell 100. Done. Thank you. Great job, everyone. All your P&Ls are huge now. Thank you. 
You're very welcome. Thank you very much. Anybody have anything to say? Anybody? 2016 now. Told you those chip twirls were really good, man. I'm not selling any. Only a little bit. The guy with a thousand sell two hundred. Guy with five hundred sell a hundred. Guy with two hundred hold three hundred hold three hundred hold five hundred sell a hundred two hundred hold. Oh my God! I screwed up the big. I dug him out. Yeah, I told you I would. That's what I told you. I dug you out of a hole, buddy. That's the power of having a coach and a mentor that asks you the question: How do I know that it was going to do this? Pros give them the answer. How do I know it was going to do exactly what it's doing right now? What's the answer? Journaling. Correct. Correct. This is the power of journaling. Okay. I wrote a blog article about it. And you can go on my blog right here. And you can look at the power of journaling right here. You can go to my blog. It was a second article right here as it moves to 220 2020 it goes we hold we hold nice here so the power of journaling right here and this is my journal i write everything down as a new student in mojo university you'll see how important it is to keep track of everything guys if you're not if you're trading and you're a trader i would make you 50% more than you're currently doing to 100% if you're losing, I'd make you lose 50 to 100% less than you're currently losing. It's a, it's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. I'm not going to give you a, a course book with 500 pages. My course book has zero pages. Zero. There is no course book. You come to Mojo University... I will take my hands and put them around you. I will know who you are and I will teach you live in the Mojo Day Trade Room just as I am right now and you are here back and forth and I will teach you everything that I know in one and a half months, in 10 classes and 20 hours and you will know how to win every day. Is this accurate? 100 to 500 dollars, five people. Nice job. Nice job. We got 100 to 500 people. I uh, have in this room right now uh, any help? I mean, it's unbelievable. <laughs> uh, thank you. Wonderful. Great. How much did we make today? Oh, ask. That's it. That's all I ask. That's all. So we have that. Uh, thank you. So we have one to five hundred dollars. We have five people. Great job. Oh, great job. Uh, two people made 500 to 1,000. And that's it. Nine people in the demo made money. Hey, good job. Uh, one person lost. And observing and watching, six. And all you guys did was say this. Yeah, I saved you again. That's all I do. Amazing calls. Thank you so much. Yeah, made you profit on the VRX and the UV. Great job. UV's 2016 right now. And the TVIX, I have some of that, is 2205, and I own it at 2185.
And that's the Mojo Day Trading Show for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and we will kick it up tomorrow and do the same thing. Another day, another time, and that's what we do. So Pro Trader Mike, going to sign off. Like a cowboy, like a rhinestone cowboy. I'm rising on the